you have two choices. You, you can do the average guy who's a good man that, that makes really good money. Okay. On average looking, okay? <laughs> or a real good looking guy like a Chad, mm-hmm. but he makes $40,000 a year. Or you and got like a guy. No or, personality, like. No, let's say he's a good looking dude, six, mm-hmm. six feet tall, six pack abs. He's a Chad. He's a model looking dude. Let's say he makes 30 grand a year. Or you get an average guy who's really good. He makes $200,000 a year. And they're both, that you, you vibe with both of them. Who do you choose? I honestly, it would boil down to like personality and who I like connect better okay. with. Okay. I feel like, um, yeah, no, I'm big on like personality and. The money, I mean, money comes, money goes, kind of thing. You got a, you got a question you're gonna ask? Uh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm like, just waiting. Mike ready? He's like, hang on. <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Where do you see? I know you're, you're, you're pursuing your music career. Mm-hmm. Where do you see yourself outside of music? How, how do you want to live in the next? Do you want to be married one day? Yeah, I do. At what age? Um, I would say like, oh my god, maybe like. Maybe like 28, start thinking about it. 28, you're going to start thinking about it. Like, if I was engaged by 28, I'd be okay with that. Okay, but okay. Like married, married at 28, I don't, I don't know. So your career, how's that going to impact your relationship? Like, do you travel a lot? I travel, not, I wouldn't say a lot, but like, I will be. Like, it's starting to pick up. Okay, so you need more. a guy that can travel with you. Yeah, I mean, it's... I oh, so you know where I'm like, going, right? You know where I'm going. Antonio knows where I'm going. Because let me give you let me give you the reverse effect. I'm watching Paris Hilton documentary. And the reason I'm watching that crazy story with Paris. I met her uh last month. I was at Lele Pond's uh wedding. Me and Paris share the same birthday on the same day, and we were born in the same hospital. Crazy. We realized wow. that when we were talking, but go ahead. Whoa, okay. So <laughs> back in the day, in the MySpace days, old school. Kim, Paris, everybody's at the clubs in L.A. I used to see them out there. Just whatever. Paris and then Kim kind of her little, yeah. come on, Kim. Right? But she, I was watching a documentary, and there's this dynamic where women date at their level and above, socio and economic level and above. Yeah. Okay? And it's, it's, uh, it's ingrained in, in biologically in, into a woman to, to attract through the evolution of mating that women want to go with a man that has the biggest stash, biggest equity, liquidity, has a lot of stuff there for security. It, it's to it's to ensure the future success of, of them and their children. Yeah, definitely. I would agree with that. So as you climb this success ladder and you're traveling, you're going to have to have a, a guy that's successful that's able to travel as well. Right. So the average Joe... Because what, here's what happened. She said this. I was watching it. I'm waiting. And she goes, yeah, I'm tired of all these little boys following me around like a little pet doing what I want. Because she's she, her net worth is $900 million. Insane. So she marries a guy that's net worth is $40 million. That's a huge difference. Mm. And, 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 but it, they're still in the million. But my point is this, is that if you don't date at your level and above, you end, a woman ends up losing respect for the guy instinctively not because they don't want to lose respect but because that guy's not the traditional provider protector i wouldn't know if it's respect but lose interest i would say yeah okay so now 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 the average guy ain't gonna work yeah <laughs> i Very guess true. so you know you do have a point with that because definitely and you have to see if they're okay with the life that you're pursuing well, because you're gonna be you're gonna be traveling and they're gonna be yeah. following you around And as your success goes up, your income goes up, right? Right. And so what happens with a woman, the more successful she is, she limits her opportunities for the right person to be with. Because the more money you make as a woman, it's great that women are successful. I'm not against that. But you limit your options. Because men don't care about your money to a point. He doesn't. Yeah, I I would date. I would date a girl that works at Burger King over a girl that's making $100,000 on OnlyFans or whatever it is. Like, I've never dated a girl because she was successful. It's never happened. Right. Yeah, see, you see what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. now you're like, oh, shit, right? So the, 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 the Chad doesn't work, right? Because he, he's, not, he, he's not capable. I got, I got to go to my job. I can't. You, you're going to go travel. Right. No, that's definitely like and, a huge barrier, and that creates And now Chad's hot looking, six feet tall, six-pack abs. Yep. <laughs> you're on the road. What's Chad going to be doing? Right. Right? So, so you're going to have to be at that point where this guy's got to be somewhat successful. And 
and I, I believe that the more successful the man is, the more confidence he is. Mm. He has. He's more comfortable having you in the limelight. Like guys that are younger are very insecure because they don't have that, that worldly wealth experience of, of success and travel and being exposed to certain things, right? Because here you got an attractive girl. She's, oh, I'm going to be on the Latin Music Awards. I'm going to be here. I'm going to do this thing, this partnership with J-Lo. And he's sitting back there going, all these dudes are like in her DMs. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a nobody. Like right. this guy right here, he's he's successful. He's got the accolades. He's got the swag. So he would be comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah, I would be. But right. but he's successful. And then if you're like, babe, I gotta go to uh, Bolivia. I gotta go to L.A. for this thing. Let me let me book a flight. I can do my show on the road. I can meet up with some content creators. I, I you know, uh, I need some people to read read a skit for a film. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Right, right. He's not average. Yep. Right. So as far as traditionalism, how do you feel in a relationship? You're, I'm putting you on the spot. You like this? <laughs> it's getting my no, how do you feel? Turning. How do you feel in a relationship? I mean, obviously you have your career, but let's say you want to settle down and have a family with a multi multimillionaire. And he says, hey, babe, look, you know, we have children. Now, you might have an, a pair that travels with you. But are you fine with with taking on that gender role as a woman in the house? As like the traditional, like stay home. Yeah clean up yeah. i mean i think it could work not saying that like i would be like the housewife or anything but like um we would both you know like find someone um, given that like we have the means to right like in a perfect world we're both successful living like above what we can not what we can what if, sorry but, like um what if your husband feels like yo why are we gonna have a um um uh, a nanny raise our child for the first three no, years not a nanny but like if we put let's say like okay i take care of kids and then we have somebody that cleans like come to yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, of course, of course. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you if you raising our kids, like, shit, I'll get a cook or two. Let, let them cook. <laughs> let them clean. Well, you 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 yeah, raising oh our God. kids. If that's the case, and, then like yeah. And, and then once and then once our kids grow up, like shit, they're gonna be on a plane with us, and we're gonna go to Bolivia. Exactly. Like <laughs> exactly. No, yeah, that sounds like a perfect world. Yeah, like once we're like and once you put ready. them to sleep. You have a music. I built a music studio in the uh, in the garage. You go in there and put some Damn, songs man. out. When, when, when's, yeah, the just, when's the wedding? <laughs> when's the wedding? When's the wedding? Hey, I <laughs> we just built the. I just want to be invited. I want two percent of the royalties. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a shirt. I'm gonna get a shirt that says I want two percent of the royalties. <laughs> I'm gonna like clip that and be like, this is now my standard. That's what I need. <laughs> no, that's great, man. Yeah. I mean, and, and if you uh, if you get a, now, I'm imagining you got a lot of guys in your DMs. I mean, why did you pause? <laughs> yeah, like, I thought that you were gonna. That say was a more. weird pause. She's like, you got a lot of guys in your DMs, <laughs> but they're small. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> do you get no, a lot of DMs? Funny. I do. Yeah, I mean, like not like crazy, but like yeah, I have like people. That I How many know. a week? Oh, I, I don't know. I don't. That know. many? <laughs> I don't know. Like I don't just sit there like. Do you do it. you entertain like some of the guys? Like do you like look at the? Hey, my question is, how does a guy meet a woman like yourself if you're traveling all the time? Mm -hmm. Like if a guy is social, it's social media. Right. Okay. The internet is now the new way of dating. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. So when a guy reaches out to you and says, "Hey, I just find you attractive," I know every guy's probably saying that, right? But. What indifference is that guy from another person? What makes him different from the other guy? What would get your attention? To watch all the guys go to your DM and start. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. What would, like what would get my attention through a DM? Um, I don't know. I'd probably just honestly, I'd probably just like look at their profile. See so what you look at their doing. picture first. Yeah. Okay, so you make <laughs> yeah. a judgment call. But I mean, there's what doing turns the same you what thing. turns you off on a guy's DM uh, 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 Instagram? What um, don't you like? I don't know. I mean, it's not necessarily what I don't like. It's just... Look at him. <laughs> he's, like, changing Dick up pig. the whole thing. Um, no, what do I look for on... Well, what makes I just you... Kinda, I just kind of see, like, what they do. What they do? Yeah, like, what... Like, what's... Not, like, what's their life... Yeah, like, what's their life like kind of thing. So, would you would you date... So, you're, you're telling me, like, their Instagram, if they got... A, what if they got a bunch of girls on there? Oh, I mean... Yeah, see, that's... That's a no-no for me. Kind so, of. It depends what they do, though. What if he has a cat? <laughs> I'm allergic. Oh. It would never work. <laughs> I have no cats. No cat dad. He, he's over here. I have no cat. Check. He's over here. Check. I fit the profile. See, this is a, this so is a match made in heaven. This is a, a dating matching uh, uh, social event. So...